welcome. Thank you, family friends, for joining me at Maria Loves to Talk. And you know what I'll be talking about, right? No candles, no perfumes. What are we talking about, you guys? Before we talk about what I'm doing, I want to know what have you been up to? What are you doing? Are you still at work? Or have you went to the mall? This is from the Sun U.S. Missing People uh, Person Stories. So this one um, is from 2021, okay? Um, horrifying. Kathleen Moore's body found near boyfriend Colin Knapp's house by one of Dog the Bounty Hunter search team. Dog the Bounty Hunter. Wow. Pasco County Sheriff Chris Noco confirmed Tuesday that the body found was Kathleen. She was found in the woods near the home of her boyfriend Colin Knapp. Eight days after Kathleen Moore went missing, her family and friends now know where she is, and it is not by any means what they were hoping for. Kathleen's body was found in some thick woods behind her boyfriend's house today, where she was last seen. Fox from Teens' Brianna Ardondo joins us now live from the Polk County Sheriff's Office. Hi there, Brianna. I know this is the information her friends and family have been waiting for. It's been a rough day, I'm sure, for them. Uh, but she was found not even a day after the Sheriff's Office reached out asking for help. Mark, such a tough day for them to hear this news that, that she has been now found. And of course, as you mentioned, not something they were wanting to hear. Um, Pasco County Sheriff says that they got a call from someone this morning that they had found something and it ended up being Kathleen Moore's body. And now tonight, uh, her friends are sharing how they will remember her. Kathleen Moore is found now and can be put to rest. We were kind of holding out hope, but I mean, Just we knew, <laughs> but now, I mean, it is closure. And actually can come home and we can, you know, we can do what we need to do. Pasco County investigators say they discovered her body Tuesday after getting a call. Sky Fox shows the area behind Carmel Avenue in Newport Ritchie. She was about 50 yards northeast of Colin Knapp's home. And so it was a very heavily brushed area. She was actually covered. Um, you can almost describe she was definitely covered on purpose. Kathleen's boyfriend, Colin Knapp, is charged with her murder. A Pasco County court complaint says detectives found bedding with a significant amount of blood on it. The sheriff says Knapp tried to get rid of evidence in a dumpster at his job. There was a lot of evidence that had been found in those dumpsters, and when that was found, there was 14 additional industrial-sized dumpsters that went out there that our detectives come through. The sheriff's office says Kathleen was a domestic violence victim. Survivor advocates in Tampa Bay say it's a common problem that people still don't talk about, but legal, mental health, financial help, and more is available to victims. So I think for somebody who is experiencing some of these things and, and doesn't really know or understand if it is domestic violence, to call your local certified center and, and talk it out. Kathleen's friends say they hope others will listen. You know, if, you, if you're in a relationship like that and you need help, just get out, get help. Now the focus turns to saying goodbye to their friend. Life of the party, great smile. I mean, she was there for everybody. We loved her, we still do, but we're gonna keep her memory alive. And earlier today, a judge ordered the suspect to stay in jail with no bond. Now, Kathleen's friends and family say that they are, of course, still processing this hard loss for them and that they're they nice looking lady. Um, a, a, I'm going to keep it real. A swirl interracial couple. Dog's team from the laundry search located a body that could be Kathleen Moore wrote a tweet from the dog official account found in the area behind the home of Moore's boyfriend. Dog and team sent their thoughts and prayers to the Moore family. She had reportedly FaceTimed one of her friends at 1 a.m. outside of Knapp's home along Carmel Avenue following a night out of drinking with him and others. Moore reportedly told her friends that she and Knapp had got into an argument and she was outside waiting for a ride. The pair had also been seen arguing at a number of bars earlier in the evening. Okay, so this big old uh, funky diabolical creature uh, telling the family he didn't know what in the world had happened to her that she had took off. So here it says, we do not have any information regarding the identification of the deceased at this time and the investigation is ongoing. A childhood friend of more, Erica Swanson, uh, said uh, 
that the relationship was turbulent and they got into fights quite often. If you are getting into a fight, and this is for the dudes, if you can't talk to your lady, your woman, and it's constantly bickering, arguing, uh, confrontation, uh, wise quacks, wise quack, wise cracks, attack on you, attacking your mama, or jealous of your kids, or your kids from a previous marriage, or, or even jealous of your mom. You need to move on and cut your, your ties. I don't know why people just stay, 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 move on. Dark past. Nap's arrest for murder on Monday is not his first one in with police. He has an extensive rap sheet that includes dozens of arrests, so she got her bad boy, including for domestic battery, possession of cocaine and meth, and reckless driving. His first criminal infraction came in May 2010, and Nap was booked on a felony count of aggravated battery in St. Petersburg. Three, three years later, he was arrested in Largo on a misdemeanor count of domestic battery in the hours of, of of early of April the 4th. Then in August 2014, he was arrested for two misdemeanor counts of obstructing and resisting an officer without violence. Well, I see they didn't unalive him, right? They didn't unalive him. This guy just done a lot of stuff. I don't know why she stayed with him that long. Uh, friends and family in mourning. Friends and family members was concerned about Moore's whereabouts. Um, one of her friends, Brunette, Brumat. I'm scared. I'm trying to keep the faith because she's my sister. I don't want people to give up or lose focus because her life does matter. Nat was sentenced to life without parole on the count of first degree murder. Nat must also pay a combined $3,255 in fines and $150,000 in restitution. Prayers go out to Miss Moore. Uh, I don't know if she should have had broke up with him a long time ago before she went back to his house. Maybe she should have just called for someone to get her. Um, they look like they had been happy and past. Look like she's laughing and grinning and having good old a uh, good time. Um, all I can say, uh, again, like I said in my previous video, the pasture is not, the grass or the pasture is not always greener on the other side because I'm here and I've been seeing so much stuff. People talking about relationships on YouTube, complaining about this, about that, about about this woman, about that woman, about the feminines, about the American women, it, uh, about, and not to mention the colorism. So, hey, uh, swirling, swirl nation, those couples have issues and there's been, I've noticed there's been a lot of domestic violence and also uh, the women, uh, either the black women being deleted by the white guys or the white girls, white chicks being deleted by the black guys. So it's, you know, it's on both sides.